Hi everyone, time for another update on the Sling TSI build. So since we spoke last time, uh, quite, a f quite a lot of things got done. Uh, mainly the plan was to get everything everything installed so that we can do, get the weights and balance done of the aircraft. So in preparation for that, um, trying to get all the upholstery put in. Um, most of the wings, the flaps, ailerons, everything had already been attached um, in terms of the or the tail trim uh, or that got bolted down. Um, now kind of happy with the, the elevator um, deflections, so nailed that down. Uh, the seat upholstery, the front seat, bottom section covers from from that to the all the carpets, everything got put in um, uh, basically to reflect uh, what the aircraft would be um, when it is fully done. Um, so that all got put in uh, in preparation for the uh, for it to be weighed um, inside in the in the luggage bay all the carpets everything was completed um, and the the few bits that are remaining are the the wing trim uh, the fiberglass trim that goes around the wing road uh, so that's still um, uh, being painted. Uh, regarding the elevator, uh, basically I was trying struggling to get, get about two degree uh, of um, I was two degree short in terms of the required deflection. So kind of diagnosed the issue to uh, the elevator fouling on the on this cover plate uh, at, at, that, at that section. So I had to grind away a little bit of that uh, of that metal cover plate uh, to make the elevator clear. And so now I've got the the full deflection that uh, as per the POH. Um, the spats, they're all painted, ready to be installed. Um, again, um, one of the spats uh, still needs to be, uh, hadn't been test fitted before, so that might give us some problems when uh, it is brought to the aircraft. Uh, but, but in general, most of the, um, yeah, most of the outer elements were kind of ready uh, for the weight and balance uh, to be done. Um, these things were quite a bit tricky to do. Uh, they come pre-drilled uh, the holes but uh, some of the holes didn't quite align so I had to um, I mean the holes were already drilled on the metal bit on the perspex and they're drilled on the wings but all three just don't align uh, I had a few on one side I had to uh, match drill a few uh, the the fiberglass trim pieces um, they fit quite well um, uh, the fiberglass uh, didn't took that much of work but the the whole positioning all the the spacing of the holes you have to be quite careful that you don't drill into a spar or, uh, or some wiring or something behind so even though the manual gives you some uh, strict um, dimensions I think it's always best to check uh, where you're drilling to you're clear um, behind because sometimes you right next to a long run you might not be able to enlarge the hole to put the uh, rib nut in so again um, so that was the next task and I also got my replacement uh, landing light and taxi lights so they're the new wheel and ones so I uh, use them for my uh, tax uh, landing lights and then the pilot goodies one is the is the is the other one the taxi one the uh, installing the cover was quite tricky even though uh, I managed to get all them uh, aligned and the issue was you could get all the clicos on the bottom row and then you have to get it really flush against the against the shape of the skin uh, to pull that um, I used this tool to pull it really flush and um, a couple of times that slipped and ended up scratching uh, putting some scratches on it on the right side uh, there was some a uh, couple of minor scratches but on the on the left wing uh, put a quite a deep scratch on it so I need to just try and somehow buff that out um, but I think there are things that you can use to clear perspex um, yeah uh, to clear scratches from the, the perspex uh, from perspex um, we were just before doing the second weight and balance uh, did swap out the battery uh, to an Earthex uh, the ETX 900 that's uh, an approved battery uh, for the sling TSI uh, is uh, you need a standard mod form uh, in the UK to get that battery in. Uh, the setup for the weight and balance, um, the spats had to be removed because it's a lot easier to uh, get the aircraft onto the scales with the spats off. 
um, so, and then they were just laid on top uh, to uh, for their weight to represent their weights so you basically take the weights of all three wheels and then that's all you need to calculate the rest um, all the momentums are listed in the POH so you can use that to work it out um, uh, the key thing is everything should be on so my empty weight uh, came to 528.8 with an empty C of G of uh, 1865.5 and so that gives me the forward the worst case forward um, with a, you know, a lighter pilot 55 kilogram pilot full fuel and uh, no fuel um, within and the most aft case uh, well, full at the front 120s in the back seats and five kilograms of luggage and still will be in within limits then it was time for some final touches um, all the all the labels placards and things like that that are most of it is provided in the kit um, and uh, the warning labels uh, in terms of max weight and other lim operational limitations still waiting for the, the metal ID plate uh, once that comes we'll install that um, I was trying to mount fit all that uh, the sling TSI logo I think I probably need to uh, get something a lighter color I think they have they do them in this in silver or white and that would be better there are various labels for flap to, uh, fl to avoid people stepping on it there are some other warnings at the back which you need to fill I need to fit um, and then uh, also installed uh, two of the, the spats um, and this the, the the left spat we had kind of installed before uh, painting so that went on quite well um, the right one is not quite there yet I still need a little bit more work to get it installed properly um, so that's next time um, something to be done um, uh, the fit of the the, 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 the nose fuel spats were quite good really happy with that how that came came together and still uh, need to put that rubber cover for the um, uh, that's where you basically uh, refill the tires um, and kind of at this stage pretty much everything was ready to uh, do the the next set of uh, setup uh, I think there's the, there was the, the fuel flow stuff to be done um, so it was fingers crossed mainly I just didn't want any any leaks from the fuel tank at this stage that was my kind of biggest concern um, so on the day we did the so while we're putting fuel in uh, obviously we did the empty empty weights with no fuel at all in the aircraft and then started to put you know measured and quantities of fuel so we can calibrate the uh, the fuel gauge so started off with one liter uh, chunks and then two liter chunks and then five liter uh, intervals and then you, you store those calibration points or use on the g3x and um, even up to about 50, 60 liters you hardly see anything at that uh, at the fuel filler because most of the fuel is still at the around the wing root area and um, i think i did up to about close to 60 liters on both tanks um, and then I uh, did run out of fuel but I need to add some more but essentially you've got enough points to kind of calibrate that and these um, green yellow and red ranges you can set uh, whatever you want um, uh, for those things so that's pretty good in terms of uh, customizing these yeah and then uh, once the tanks were installed and everything done we did uh, one last uh, another engine run um, to make sure everything was fine and uh, taxi route around as well a little bit um, just checked uh, I mean, well it was quite interesting uh, with the you know, the uh, hand you know, hand off hand operated brakes uh, but the the radar is it is brilliant I mean because of the nose wheel steering it, it turns quite well quite easily uh, so controlling the aircraft on the ground is, is pretty good the main purpose was to check the you know, check or uh, the fuel pumps working, the flow rates, and we did the fuel flow test as well. Uh, we had a uh, hundred and eighty liters per hour, and then each pump was on, just just from just from the one pump, uh, pump one, and pump two each, and that. And yeah, and uh, so now it's going to be the next stage. We should have the final inspections, and it's uh, hopefully. The